The past year has proven to be yet another challenging one. We have witnessed the prices of essentials like food and energy spiral, and all of us have, in one way or another, been affected by the rising cost of living. Our co-op is in no way immune to these challenges, but what is striking is the way our colleagues continue to weather the storm with professionalism. You can enter any East of England co-op store or branch and continue to be welcomed with a smile and a friendly hello. To show our appreciation for our colleagues' hard work, we recently rolled out a support package to assist them in navigating the cost of living crisis. This includes an enhanced 25% colleague discount over the winter months and several new long-term benefits such as partial salary advances to help with unexpected bills and expenditure. Our members and customers are also fundamental to our business. We never forget that they are the reason for our being here. I'd like to thank them for their loyalty throughout this period of instability and uncertainty, especially as a time when choosing where to shop has become so important. As a thank you for their commitment to us, we have continued to strengthen our membership proposition. Our member perk scheme has grown over the last 12 months and offers discounts at selected family attractions, leisure providers and restaurants throughout the region. We have also held member-only competitions with desirable prizes, including a holiday. Our co-op is part of the community that it serves. Our colleagues, members and customers all live, shop and work within our community, and we recognise how privileged we are to be part of it with them. Many of the challenges we face as a co-op are also being felt hard by those with whom we work and interact, and that's why we've maintained the support for our communities during this difficult period. Over the last 12 months, we focused our efforts on ensuring that people continue to be fed and can keep warm. And we're grateful to our customers for generously donating nearly 15,000 pounds to local food banks and warm hubs. Challenging economic and trading conditions and rising costs during 2022 reduced our ability to trade profitably. In particular, significantly increased energy costs have had a huge impact. As a result, we've made an underlying trading loss of £5.5 million this year. We have also seen a £1.8 million reduction in the value of our investment property portfolio. We are working hard on creating a new strategy for growth across our family of businesses, to provide a route back to profitability. Already, our reorganized food retailing business has successfully achieved growth in sales volumes in our food stores in the latter half of the 2022 financial year, and this has continued into 2023. Having successfully navigated the challenges of COVID and Brexit, and faced with significantly increased energy costs and the cost of living crisis, both the board and senior executives felt it was time to review our operational management structure to ensure that it remained fit for purpose as we began to plan for stabilization, recovery and growth. The result of a detailed and independently facilitated consultation process during 2022 was that we decided to move away from our unique joint CEO model by appointing a single chief executive and restructuring our senior management team. At the end of November 2022, we announced Doug Field's appointment as chief executive officer of our group. To ensure our co-op achieves sustained success, we need to be true to our vision and mission, connect with one another through our values and have clear direction. Doug will lead and develop our co-op into the future, tackling challenges and optimizing opportunities presented. 
He has 14 years of experience at the Society and was latterly one of three Joint Chief Executive Officers with particular responsibility for finance and technology. He has championed the use of data and insight to drive change within our business, and this will be fundamental as he moves into the East of England Co-op into this new and exciting era as we look to change how we focus our energies and resources. I would next like to thank and pay tribute to Nick Denny and Neil O'Keefe, who left us at the end of last year for their valuable contribution to our society in their roles as Joint Chief Executive Officers. Nick joined us in 2007 and was appointed Joint CEO with primary responsibility for property in 2012. During his time with us, he was instrumental in overseeing our diverse pro property portfolio, including the opening of numerous new stores. Neil joined the Society in 2019 and was CEO with primary responsibility for marketing, membership, media, and learning and development. Among his many achievements, he was responsible for overseeing the launch of our colleague engagement app, The Loop, and he also led the Society's membership and community program. On behalf of the board, I'd like to say thank you to both Nick and Neil, and I wish them all the best with their future endeavors. We also say farewell to Nicola Fox, who has served the maximum term of 12 years as a director of our co-op, and so retires from the board at our May 2023 annual members meeting. I would like to thank Nicola for her wise counsel and contribution to the board during this period. So what does the future hold? With the continuing economic uncertainty showing little sign of abating, as well as the ongoing conflict in Europe, the challenges that I spoke about earlier will likely still be with us as we go forward into the next 12 months. It's important that we continue to demonstrate the resilience that we've shown during the last year. Doug will talk more about the actions that we are going to take to grow and evolve our business. The cooperative values and principles which guide us as a society remain as relevant as ever as we navigate the economic uncertainty, and they will continue to guide us through the weeks and months ahead. <laughs>